Father, welcome back. Hello, son. It's been a while. It really has been a while. Uh, what, five, six months? At ease, Silas. There's no need to be so tense. Um, sir, we have a guest. You know, the one I had been talking to you about. Oh, Silas. I just got here. Are you not even going to offer a hello? Or maybe a glass of your finest whiskey? I, I... I could possibly... Ah, Silas. <laughs> Why so serious? We haven't even seen each other in, what, three months? And you already being a wet blanket. Six months. <laughs> well, who is it? Who is our esteemed guest? Hold my hand. Just hold it. Trust me. I don't have all day, Simon. My fiancé. Oh. Your fiancé. Yes, my fiancé. And how come I didn't know about this? Last you told me, you were still courting them. Well, I work fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that you do. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy for you, son. Thank you, father. <laughs> so, you are the fabled apple of my son's eye. <laughs> hmm. You must know that my son doesn't often open himself up to people. He's what you would call demure. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. So, I'm interested to see for myself what kind of charms you must possess to seize my little boy's heart. <sighs> your hand. Please, give it to me. It's okay. What is your name, dear? I'm charmed. Well, you heard the man. He works quick, and so should you. Let's cook up a feast for my boy. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> this will be a night that you will never forget. I am sure that you will find the food to your liking. I can't disagree. Ah, right. However talented as our cooks may be, such a feast will take some time to prepare. I'm sure they understand. Silas. They can speak for themselves. Of course. I hope you understand my apple. Given this, I think this is the perfect opportunity for us to get to know each other a wee bit more. Just you and I. Um, well, that's why we're having dinner, Father. I didn't invite you, Silas. <laughs> uh, I'm only kidding, son. <laughs> Right. I just want to know a little bit more about your dear partner here. You know, 
seeing as they'll be marrying my son. Right. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Good. Have Greg lead them to my room in a few minutes. Uh, well, Greg is busy at the moment. Busy? What could he possibly be doing? A lot. Frankly, he's been helping me tend to the garden. You need to stop with that garden, son. Right. Call Greg. Yes, sir. Good. And you. I will see you in a bit. Ta-da! Do you get what I mean now? When he enters the room, the room is his. Yes, you get used to it. Somewhat. I, I, I didn't expect him to invite you to his room, but that's okay. It's, it's completely okay. I'm not sure wh what, what feeling you're getting from him yet, but don't let him intimidate you. Do you understand? He is like a shark in a school of fish. He can smell blood from a mile away. So don't bleed. And I, 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 I just, j just don't, don't eat dinner. Whatever they put in front of you, do not eat it. Okay. I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to scare you. I, I just, I just don't know if I was gonna have. Another chance to tell you. It's just a hunch. It's happened before, and I just want you to be prepared and to be yourself when you go in there. He'll say some things to get you to trip, that's for sure. Just be mindful of what you say, and you'll be fine. Okay? Okay. Good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Good old Greg. Ah, Greg! I was just about to call you. Thank you so very much for tending to the gardens. You know how much of a pain it is to take care of those flowers. And someone plucked one of them last night. Could you believe that? Yes, someone had the huevos to pluck one of my beautiful, beautiful flowers. Ah, uh, but alas. Ah, right. Yes, my father kindly asked you to escort our guest into his room. Would that be okay? Oh, you are such a dear. Thank you so much, Craig. Just give us one moment, please. Don't bleed. Okay? Okay. I trust you. Be safe. I... Your forehead. Please. Well, I'll see you later for dinner, okay? Okay. All right, people. Everything needs to be absolutely perfect, okay? You have to make sure that Oh, 
Greg. Yes, good, good. One moment. Ah, come in, come in. Yes, you too, Greg. Come in, come in. Tell me, what was your name again? Hmm. I meant your real name. <laughs> Only joking. I would be remiss if I didn't ask this first. Do you understand the people you're dealing with? Do you know who Silas is? Hmm. Do you know who I am? You do? Is that so? What do you know about me? Or, I suppose, the right question would be, what has Silas told you about me. Hmm. And is there anything I should know about you? Perhaps something you haven't told Silas yet. Is that so? What do you do for a living? I see. <laughs> Silas always wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> but I didn't think he would end up engaged to one. <sighs> see, the thing about my son is, he can come off as abrasive to many people. I'm sure when you first met him, the ship didn't sail so smoothly. <laughs> right, right. I figured. Speaking of, where did the two of you meet? Ah, right. Of course. So I'm assuming this was six months ago? That's when he went for a business trip. Hmm. Was it on the motorcycle trip? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Silas never piped down about those motorcycles. <sighs> That's where his mother and I met, actually. There are a few things that you should keep in mind when dealing with him. Granted, I may not spend the most time with him, but seeing as I have been his father for quite some time now, I felt the need to tell you about these things. Call it a warning. What you must understand about my son is that he is not entirely complete. Nah, that may be a bit confusing. What I mean to say is, he has dealt with a few things. Little things, really. In the past that still affect him to this day. Seeing as you two have been together for some time now, 
I'm sure you sense that as well. Correct? He'll often steer one way and then completely change track. Like he's a completely different person. He's very unpredictable. Cunning, even. I'm sure you would know. He chooses his words very carefully, as do I. And everything that boy says, he's ran it through in his head a thousand times, seeing every which way the conversation could go, and then picking the best one for him. Do you follow? <laughs> I'm sure he's told you that I'm stepping down as the boss soon. He and his brother have been fighting for who's next in line. His brother? Oh, he's an easy read. That boy wears his heart on his sleeve and lets his mouth run. But Silas, oh no, not Silas, he would never. I couldn't trust him if he told me the sky was blue. <laughs> At least that's what he wants me to think. But I have that boy read like a children's book. <laughs> Greg! Oh, right. Have you met Greg yet? Properly. He's my son's personal bodyguard. It's not obvious, huh? Such a sweet and gentle looking soul. Yet so capable of inhumane things. Anyway, I was just about to ask, Greg, what do you think of Silas? Mm, actually, never mind. Don't answer that. Anywho, what I'm getting at is that Silas is indeed a character. There's no doubt about that. But you peel the layers, find out more about him, and you'll find a shy little boy in need of someone to cling on to. And right now, that person is you. But you peel back even more, and you find the true Silas, capable of things even I wouldn't think of doing. <sighs> I'm only saying these things in case he hasn't. I'm of the opinion that you should know everything about this family, if you'll be a part of this family. And I'm sure Silas has already told you everything he's done, correct? Oh, he hasn't? Surely he's told you at least some of it. Hmm, that's a shame. Lock the door, Greg. There's no need to be alarmed. Okay? Good. I know who you are. And what you're after. What both of you are after. I would not recommend lying to me. 
I'll give you another chance. Do not lie. And things will end well for you. Who are you? You either tell me or you bleed. Gotcha. <laughs> I was only joking, okay? It was just a joke. <laughs> I was just trying to see if you would take the bait. I'm only looking after my son. No more, no less. No? No bueno? Huh. And here I thought I still got it. <laughs> well, in any case, dinner should be ready right about now. And I am famished. Greg, could you check if the table is set? <sighs> it was an absolute pleasure talking to you, dear. I really felt like I got to know more about you. And, quite frankly, more about Silas. But don't tell him that we're talking about him, okay? He's a very shy boy. I'm sure you understand. Ah, oh, and... Just between you and me, Silas is never going to be the next Mafia boss. Ta-ta. Well, I'm sure they'll disagree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I almost forgot to ask. What did you guys talk about? Ask them yourself. Is that I will do. <sighs> Honey? 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 Are you all right? You... you haven't touched your... plate. Is there something... wrong? Uh, father? Yes? Does this have shellfish? Yes, it does. Why? They're allergic to shellfish. Father, I told you, they're allergic to... Okay, don't, 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 don't eat this, okay? I told them not to- They could have put the plate away themselves. Yes, well, maybe they were just trying to be accommodating. Father, I, I told you, I told you that their allergy was serious. D did you eat any of it, dear? Are you sure? None of it? M maybe you- No, 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 you'll be fine. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be- What? I hope, for your sake, that you don't mean to disrespect me, boy. I... I, I, I don't. You never told me about any allergy. Why do you lie? I, I know I did. I, I know. I, I, I told you... Why do you lie? What are you trying to say? Uh, I... What? What are you implying here, 
Silas? I'm... I'm not implying anything. <laughs> Are you saying I'm trying to poison them? No, no, Is that no. what you're saying? No, no, I'm not. Then what are you trying to say? I'm... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you're accusing me of poisoning. Yeah, I... I am not. Outdone yourself. Though, please, be more mindful of what our guests can and cannot eat. Okay? Silas? Yes? You better pay this fine gentleman handsomely. Yes. <laughs> of course. Good. Now, moving on to more pressing matters. I had the pleasure of speaking with Pimento right worry, before dear. I got here. Yes. Yes. I'm... Silas? Y yes. Are you okay? Y yes. Yes, I am. Good. Do you remember Pimento? Yes. I remember. He took care of me when I was young. As I was saying, I had the pleasure of talking with him before I got here. We were talking about nothing and everything, as old friends do. And then he tells me he's at a crossroads. Things aren't looking so good on his side of the bridge. Right. He had been running this hospital for a while now, actually. It's impressive. I asked him, why? And he tells me he'd always wanted to be a doctor. Can you believe that? Our old dirtbag Pimento was actually in medical school before getting caught up in this business. <laughs> no, that's... that's something. What's the catch? I asked him. Nothing, he said. Little old Pimento was doing this out of the kindness of his heart. And so I looked into it. And it's all legitimate. Not a single bad bone in that hospital. Well, aside from the funding. Isn't that something? While he busts kneecaps and plucks out teeth, here he is, helping people live longer or letting them pass on peacefully with their loved ones. So I asked him, do you think this is enough? What? He said. I said again, do you think this is enough? <sighs> enough for what? For everything you've done. For every wife you made a widow. For every child you made an orphan. Do you think it's enough? What do you think he said? I... 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 
I don't, I don't know. He said nothing. He just cried. Wept and cried like a baby. <laughs> and it irked me plenty. It showed me that he's a man of no backbone. He has one foot in the door and the other deep in the trenches. Do you really think you can get anywhere in this world going only halfway? So, I patted him on the back as I left, and I told him, Don't worry, I'll take over for you. Really? He said. Oh, he was so excited. Father, you, you don't mean... <laughs> Yes. No. I no, do. No. No. Father, no. Father, why 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 do we need to take over? We're 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 doing so well on this side of the bridge. We're 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 sustaining everything. Everything runs like clockwork and I have my eyes on everything. Father, I am just afraid that if we take control of any more of this city, we may be looking down the barrel of some unforgiving people. You're afraid? <laughs> you know what I mean, Father. If we take control of Pimento's share, we are going to be put on a radar. And what does Pimento think of all of this? Is he really this excited to, to just just let it let all of this go? He's dead, Silas. <laughs> what? What? He's dead. What? Why? How? I killed him. You? You what? Why? Because you can't go halfway. Not in this world. I'm sorry, son. Don't. He was a good man. Do not. He may have been the only good man here. <laughs> he was just in the wrong place. Just in the wrong place? That's all? That's why you killed him? I know you're upset, son. You don't get to call me that. Silas, you have to understand. When do we take over? What? When do we take over? Of Pimento's side. We did all of this to take over, right? We want to grow bigger. We want to be put on the map. So you put him underground. So, when do we take over? When? You're not taking over, Silas. What? You're not taking over. What are you talking about? Please tell me this is another one of your sick jokes. It's not. Then why? Who else could possibly run this? I have put everything on the line for this family. So why? Why? Your brother, Silas. What about my brother? Your brother is taking over. What about my brother? Silas. What has he done? Huh? What has he done for this family? He has done nothing but gamble his life away while I grew up with a knife and a gun in my hands putting everything on the line to keep this family together. Where was he when mother was in the hospital? Silas? Where was he? When she was reaching into the air and seeing nobody but me. Do not bring your mother into this. Where were you when she tried calling your name one last time? I haven't thought of your mother in years. Have a pleasant evening. The whiskey's in the cabinet. I apologize.
apologize that you had to see me like this, dear. Please. Let's return to our room. I will kill him. You should go. This is no place for you anymore. I know, I, I know what I said about me being your only way out of here, but I'm afraid that I can't be of service to you anymore. I can't have you be here, not with what I'm about to do. My father, Lucian, has a meeting tomorrow with Pimento's boss. He had told me about an important meeting. I just didn't know it was for this. They'll be using the helicopter. And I'm sure that's when the least amount of eyes are on the ground. That's when you... <sighs> listen to me, please. Please, please, darling. Please, please just listen to me, dear. This is your only chance to escape. You don't need to worry about anyone tracking you down. Not anymore. Not after tomorrow. Please, detective, please. You are not part of this family. You do not need to stay. You do not need to make such a sacrifice. Especially not for a criminal like me. This world isn't for you. I can never run away from this life. So I'm ending it here. By my own hands. Yes. I'm aware. I see. I apologize. I have no idea why. I have no idea what it is about you that makes me think all of these things. I was never put into this world to experience anything like this. I was told, from when I was young, that people came and people went. And I would see it firsthand. Always. And I was prepared to go. For the longest time, I was prepared to go. And meeting you did not change that. There was no sign that it, 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 it was ever going to change. I, I, I truly, truly don't know what it is about you, detective. I lose my words and I lose my thoughts. And for what feels like the first time in my life, I do not know what to say. And I'm afraid I've become soft. I'm now afraid to die. So before anything happens, and before my mind finds impure intentions for you. I ask that 
that you run away from here as far as you can. I apologize. I apologize. I wish I could explain my feelings for you. But I'm not sure what any of this is. I just know that... I just know that I don't want you to be hurt. You do know what staying means, correct? You will be put in harm's way, and for no reason other than your stubbornness. Detective, please, think about this. Are you sure? Okay. Find Greg and tell him what I told you. He'll understand. We'll walk to the roof where the helicopter is right before it flies off. Do you understand? Good. I'll take care of Lucian. I trust that you can handle yourself. your face. Thank you, darling. Now let's get some rest. Are we all here? No? Then hurry up! Father! You're not going anywhere. Not with me standing. I know you're meeting with Pimento's men. I know my brother is there right now. All it takes is a handshake, and it's done, right? Answer me! Man. Get down! Greg, are you okay? Watch out!
I didn't think you had it in you. <coughs> Taking matters into your own hands. I feel nothing but pride. <coughs> Why did you get into this business? still in it. I had nothing else. Why bring my brother into this? I didn't want to at first. It just happened. bring mother into this. I... I don't. I didn't. I pushed her away. Scared her. Told her I was... Take my hand. It's over. It's over. Do you still have that flower with you? Good. Let's go. Somewhere. Far. <laughs>